Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 5-3. The solid shock is fixed to the support at C and subjected to torsional loading as shown. So this is a shaft and that is fixed at end C and the torsion load, torsional loading is 4 kN at this end and 10 kN at this plane. Clear? Determine the shear stress at point A and B. So you have to find the shear stress at point A and point B. Point B is 75 mm upward from central axis while point A is 50 mm from the central axis. So, it is also uh, given that sketch the shear stress on the volume element located at this point. So, after finding the shear stress at this point, also show them on volume element. So, let's start with the solution. So, the internal torque developed at the cross section passing through point D and A can be determined by using the uh, free body diagram. So for uh, the for the shear stress at point B, we will take the sec cross sectional area, or we will cut the shaft at point B, and we will draw the free body diagram. So let me draw the free body diagram. So this is the shaft here, and this is this is the axis of the shaft. So at this axis, you can see that 70, uh, 4 kN torsional loading is applied clear and this is point B. This is, let's say this end is point B. So here the torque will be equal to TB and this can be equal to this with a opposite sign or the load will be opposite to that. So load will be like this and this TB will be equal to 4 kN because it will keep the system in equilibrium. For, uh, for, the, for the torque or torsional loading at cross section, B can be found if we take the cross section at this point A and we will also draw the free body diagram for that as well. So this is the shaft. This is the axis of the shaft. At this axis, 4 kN into meter is applied torque. At, at, at after point B, there is a 10 kN into meter, kN into meter torque is also applied. And this is, let's say, cross section at point A. So here the net torque will be equal to TA and that TA will be equal to you can see this is 4 kilo newton into meter and that is counterclockwise while this is 6 10 kilo newton clockwise so difference is 6 kilo newton and that will be counterclockwise so TA will be equal to 6 kilo newton and that will be counterclockwise now we have torque at point torsional loading at cross section A and B, you can also find the shear stress at point B and A. So as we know that shear stress in general formula, it is equal to T into C divided by J, where T is torque, C is the distance from center to, uh, to any point where you want to find the stress and J is the polar moment of inertia. So, we will first calculate J and J is equal to pi by 2 R4. Now, you can see the radius of this shaft is 75 millimeter. So, we will put the value pi by 2 and R is 75 millimeter. So, 75 millimeter is equal to 0 0.75 meter power 4. So, we will get J and this J will be equal to... Uh, 49.70 49.70 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 this is the value of j now we will move toward 
finding the shear stress at point B. So shear stress at point B is equal to torque at point B into C or radius divided by J. Clear? So TB is equal to TB here is 4 kN into meter. So 4 into 10 raised to power 3. Clear? C is the distance from center to the point where you find the torque. Uh, sorry, stress. So it is 75 millimeter. So 75 is again 0 0.075 meter divided by J is 49 into 10, 49.70 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter 4. So this is sharing stress at point B. So from here we will get tau of B, shear stress at B comes out to be 6.036 into 10 raised to power 6 mega no, 6 pascal or that is equal to tau b is equal to 6.036 mega pascal so this is the value of shear stress at point b now we will find the shear stress at point a which is tau a and that is equal to t a into c divided by j clear TA is 6 kN, so 6 into 10 raised to power 3. C is here, C is equal to 50 mm because this point A is 50 mm away from the central axis. So 50 mm is 0 0.05 meter divided by J, which is the polar moment of inertia of the shaft, which is 49.70 into 10 raised to power minus 6. So, sharing stress at point A comes out to be 6.036 into, uh, into 10 raised to power 6 Pascal. And that is again, this is also 6.306, 6 .306. this is 6.0 which is again 6.04 into 6.04 mega pascal. Now these are the value of sharing stress at point B and point A. Now we will define uh, or we will uh, we will denote it uh, denote it on the volume element. So if I take this element and we'll draw over here so let this is the element clear and uh, this is the element clear so uh, the shear force will be always perpendicular to the uh, the shear force will always perpendicular to the radius or rho clear so in this case this shear force will be in this direction perpendicular to this and if we denote it on this face so this will be like this this shear stress will be represented over here and similarly on this face and in uh, behind this surfaces it will be like this and on this surface it will be like this so if I draw it a little bit larger, so let's say this is the element. Clear? So this shear force will be on the front face. Clear? While this shear force will counteract this. Similarly, the shear force will be like this. Now this will, this this is the face, front face, and this shear force will produce the same uh, torque at, as it is produced by the, uh, uh, this, this shear force will produce the same torque as the uh, net torque that is available over here. For point A, we will also draw again the same element
so on this face a the torque will acting downward clear so because the torque will be perpendicular to the to the row clear so it will be downward and it will produce the same effect as this will produce clockwise uh, sorry uh -huh, clockwise so it will be like this the it will like this the front the back face will be this and the lower face will be this so this tends to this and this the what uh, the sh the shear stress at point B or the sketch is given over here. Sketch shear stress on volume element at point B. And this is the for point a volume element for point a i hope you have a clear understanding now thank you for watching